Last time on The Great Ace Attorney. There you have it, you see. When it comes to blood, the we're all. Uh, oh, 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 they did it funny. Oh, <laughs> oh physical pain. <laughs> Episode over. <laughs> I'm afraid this is all a little much <clears throat> for young Iris. Some gentle reassurance might go a long way, perhaps, Inspector. Yeah. Uh, there, there. <laughs> uh, it's not as uh, bad as it seems. Don't worry, little child. Wait. He didn't blow his entire head off. He just blew out the back of his skull. So it's oh, fine. <laughs> no. It's could have been much worse. I mean, last week I saw a disemboweling from uh, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Most of Mr. Windybank's blood did stay inside his body. I mean, when you compare it to that, this is really not very horrific at all. Would you like a chip? <laughs> and I'm afraid to say she had the gun that was used in her hand. No! Yes. No! <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> that it wasn't Ginny. I suppose I can also be telling you that Santa Claus is real. But that's true, isn't it, Gregsy? Santa is real. Uh, <laughs> Gregsy, are you just shattering my childhood dreams again? <laughs> no, no. Oh, look over there. What is it about this particular story? I worked so hard on it. She <laughs> hid under. The, she just hid under the bed, and she couldn't stop scribbling pictures of fairies you... cuddling. The oo woo of the Baskervilles. <laughs> oh no! Get out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Don't you start now. <laughs> Is it going to be like this this week? Of disillusioned slurps <laughs> at drink. <laughs> Where we play, Where we the, play game. the games and Pete decides to slowly interrupt my introduction. <laughs> Today you are watching The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles and I am Taylor. And I'm Pete. And I'm Sarah. <laughs> In HD. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, if you like what we do, our stupid antics, you know what you need to do. Hit that big red button. It really helps us out. Let's say, we are playing the great Ace Attorney if if Pete and Taylor don't have an argument halfway through the case, <laughs> Because it seems to be the consensus on this recording session that they interrupt each other <laughs> on the intros. No, they won't know that, because that, that's going to be in the future, so, Sarah. You know... I don't know. Well, we, whatever. We, a recording What's session. What's happening? Rest assured, at some point in the future, that will be <laughs> an exchange of words where I interrupt Pete's introduction. <laughs> don't you worry. Well, Spoilers. It will come. Hopefully it's not going to turn into a recurring bit. <laughs> All right, so if you let your concentration slip, you might miss what people say. Poor Mr. Too late. Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I do love attic rooms. It's always quiet when Hurley's not around. Hospital feels ancient. Yeah, what are we doing again? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing again? Um, We're going to talk to Gregson. Are we? Are we? Okay, let's go okay, talk let's to Gregson. Okay, let's go talk to Greggy. For Gregzy. Mr. Windybank. Greggy. <laughs> let's go talk to Greggy. I said Gregzy. No, I don't. I said Greggy first. We have, oh, no. Let's, um... Let's examine what we have. Examine. Well, hang on. Do we? Oh, no. Okay, okay. As we've got nothing left to say to anybody, I suppose that does yeah, make sense. Yeah, because he didn't have any more dialogue, did he? So. It is true. So let's have a look see. Should we show him the no, armor? Oh, you hit the present button. Yeah, but you can examine stuff from the present screen. Oh, what I'm doing, right, Taylor, is making it so that we don't do the thing where I, ex I go into the court record, I examine the thing, and then go, oh, I'll present it. And then it's like, we're not in the right menu. Mm. <laughs> Just as a uh, thing. So let's. Hang on. So what about oh. the. I think we have looked at this, haven't we? Have we have looked There's at nothing... that. Okay, will he... The thing that springs to mind for me is... Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, what springs to mind to no, you? No, it's fine. You, no, you no, carry no. on. No. You carry on. No, it's fine. See. No, no, it's too late. No. <laughs> Whatever sprung to mind has sprung away. <laughs> oh, no. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> your, 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 your ladyship's latest? Yes, my latest story. It's called The Hound of the Baskervilles. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the most fascinating title. What the hell is this accent that's going on? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> At least it's not Brooklyn. No, well, it's true. Hey. <laughs> the only hey. American accent I can do. <laughs> Don't disrespect the Brooklyn. 
Uh, oh, goodness. A most fascinating title, your ladyship. Fascinating. <laughs> and um, I don't suppose He's, the Dick Gumshoe was, is in there. I was going to say. Is he? <laughs> when did Dick Gumshoe get here? Grexit is not Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be that's gonna be loads of commenters going, Gregson is not Brooklyn! <laughs> Nun. Brooklyn is not Gregson. Brooklyn. Gregson does not equal Brooklyn. <laughs> yep, that's that's the equation. That's the equation we're gonna put on the screen somewhere. Yep. Um Would there be any mention of my humble self in the tale this time? Maybe possibly. Mm. Good question. I can't really remember. I see, I see. Well, why would you, your ladyship? I will just await this publication with eager anticipation. Son of a bear! <laughs> you needn't worry, Inspector. I'm sure if you do appear, you won't be doing anything particularly remarkable. Oh, that's not very nice, is it, laddie? You looking to be arrested, sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that! Even if I did, you wouldn't have bitten her ladyship's head off, would you? Oh, that's snooty. enough sauce out of you, boy. Oh, okay, so what now, about the- as I was going to say- <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Gregson, could you- <laughs> Inspector Gregson, <laughs> could you give me your opinion about this, do you think? <laughs> you can still Pete's say- Pete's also no, deciding to interrupt Sarah no, as well. No? <laughs> no? <laughs> I see how this is. <laughs> The oppression has you started. Can just just say what it. you were gonna say. We are back in Victorian England. <laughs> is this just what oh. it's come to? You're killing me. My husband no, is oppressing no, go on, me. Go on, Peter. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted. I didn't, yes, inter proceed. I didn't interrupt you. I just pressed the button. What? I was going to say, considering we've been doing blood samples. I'm sure one of the postcodes, 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 postcodes. postcards rather, postcodes. has a bloody fingerprint on it. <laughs> what? Those? Oh. <clears throat> uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a I minute. I noticed it a bit. No, back. no, 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 no. Hold up. Back it up. Back it up. Back up. I'm pretty sure you'll find that those postcards have got cute kittens on them. Yes. Yeah. Your and point? they're cute kittens. Yeah. But they've got stuff written on the back. Yeah. Then there's Kittens. a bloody fingerprint on one. What? I'm pretty sure. Have a look. Look, there's no... No, no there's, the there's other nothing. one. It's just a cute kitty. No, the other one. Just, just a cute kitty. Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another one. Just, that one. It's just a cute kitty. Yeah, turn it round. It's just a kitty. Turn it round. But, but turn it around. Yeah, see? See, it was there. Turn around, turn around Peter. <laughs> Okay. There okay. it is. If this is going to be the fully Sarah that episode, I am not quit. <laughs> that Sarah wants to talk, <laughs> that she gets interrupted. <laughs> she's, she's not getting interrupted. What are you talking about? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm feeling very interrupted. <laughs> what the heck's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bullying you because you were bullying me by not letting me talk. <laughs> did it do anything? Are you free all right or do you need a minute? <laughs> I, didn't do, I, don't, <laughs> I didn't do anything. You did I didn't everything. I do anything. I just clicked the button. I didn't do anything. Why are you putting these cuffs on me? I was just me? going to yoga. <laughs> Why are you putting these cuffs on me, officer? I didn't do anything, honest. Ugh. Rienosuke, <laughs> what did you think? Inspector Gregson, could you give me your opinion about this, do you think? <laughs> that was a really weird... No. We don't tend to share sunshine, not with the general public. Oh, okay, so this is just... Ugh. Okay, so this is just the garbage, like... Oh, yes, more tea. Yes, have some tea. Slurpy, 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 oh, slurpy. Oh, thank you, my lady. Ta very much. Well, let's see how long he keeps going for. A few moments later. Wow. I mean, I mean, wow, guys. You think he's got like a little pipe that goes up his sleeve and it's into like, the it's cup? It's like the never-ending teacup. <laughs> never-ending teacup. Well, yeah, it was just like when um, what's her face was pouring uh, the tea into Mr. Garadev's cup and lap. <laughs> See, no, we'll just kind of go on. No, forever. actually, when she poured the tea into his lap, the animation would stop. Like, it, you know, it would eventually, it would eventually just like, well, you know, it, 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 it like flail. Yeah. It didn't just go forever. 
Okay, cool. Oh, lovely. Uh, very much your lady. No, that's okay. I wasn't going to say my line. No, that's all right. No, that's all right. Oh, my that's God. That's fine, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, my goodness. You you two. It's just... you just freaking teaming up on me. Go on, Mr. Narahodo. It's not what? Mr. Narahodo. It's Cesato, oh, no. actually. I know. Go on, like, Mr. Narahodo. I don't Mr. know Nero if Holdo, you've noticed, but I there's something rather troubling do you here. Not. That is not your line. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's something rather troubling here. Is it the British man who keeps yelling over yes. us as we try to save him? I don't know where he's come from, but he's rather annoying. You must make him stop, Mr. Narahodo. <laughs> Worry, I'll hit noticed. him with my gun. <laughs> He's been crouched there like a gargoyle. <laughs> a red smear, you mean? <laughs> yes. It looks like blood, doesn't it? I wonder if she said her son had picked up on that. Now what? <laughs> like what? A smear like the one sat messing everything up at the minute. <laughs> well, in that case, I didn't do anything. <laughs> this is just this is just bullying. Don't, not nice, is it? This is just outright not nice, bullying. Is it? <laughs> yes. We need Iris. We should show this to her before we forget. Eh. Mm. Okay, yeah, so it's not, yeah, not a fingerprint as such, because there's no... No, it must have been, like, wearing something, like gloves or something. Yeah, it makes sense. I think, didn't they say about, like... Are you suggesting it's a... Never mind. Huh? Nope, no idea where you were going with that, Taylor. <laughs> say, where were you going there, Taylor? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. Don't forget to send the postcard wherever you're going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're showing it Good to... One, hang on, Sarah. so we're showing it to Iris, <laughs> not Gregson. Yeah, we need to show it to Iris. Iris, what colour is the blood? Yeah, didn't they say it's like... It was from, like, the murder, like, the with Mr. What's-His-Face, Mason. And if that's it was the case, in, it was in the coat pocket, wasn't it? So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so then, yeah. if it's McGilded, then it's like. Um, uh, Hold on, no, you wouldn't be accusing a past man of doing something <laughs> illegal, now, would you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. A late man. Uh, and yeah, it, obviously McGilded was wearing gloves, and his gloves had blood all over them in the like the trial at the beginning. Hi, uh, can I prove I was wearing gloves or nothing? <laughs> oh, that looks like blood. Yes. I would say it's from a gloved finger. Mm. Almost certainly a glove made of leather. Yes, it's not going to be like rubber gloves, is it, in that era? So, it makes sense. Uh-oh. Well, don't worry, Vuno. I'm going to shoot you in the face. No, no wait, you please. Can leave the rest <laughs> to Put it down at least. No. Please stop. Get ready. <laughs> I'm aiming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, Lord, oh. your ladyship, what on earth was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, Gregsy, it won't hurt you. I'm in the next bleeding room. <laughs> don't worry, it's not got too much cyanide in it. <laughs> what do you mean, cyanide? <laughs> Could you die more quietly, Gregsy? <laughs> We're trying to look at the colour of this blood. Look at that. Yes, that's a colour we haven't seen before, is it? Isn't it? We simply must add it to the portfolio of blood samples. It could be an important clue. Yeah, happy Susan. Happy Susan. Oh no, oh, no sad, sad Susan. Susan. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke too soon. <laughs> Although <laughs> we jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> Although it would be nice to find out whose blood these different colours correspond to at some point. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> well. This particular stain of blood. Just having a drink of tea. <laughs> <laughs> you having some of Irish's tea? I am British tea. after all. <laughs> <laughs> having a sip of Iris's tea. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, my <laughs> lady. Oh. oh, 
You've had an idea, haven't you? Do you know whose blood this is? Oh, I don't like the green oh, text. Oh, I think uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have an idea whose blood it is. Not from the colour it turned, but with a little deduction. That's right. I think it's clear. Oh, good. Iris. We don't need to go through this. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, you know as well. You first, Runo. Who do you think it belongs to? Uh. Okay. All right, I believe that this is the oh. blood of. Oh, I, was literally, I was just about to go in the court record and be like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, okay, no. Uh, Egg Boy. Inspired Egg Mason. <laughs> Egg Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. W Pop Windy. Uh, it, well, it's either going to be Magnus McGill or Thrice Spired Mason, right? Well, it's got to be. It's got to be Thrice Spired Mason, yeah. right? Because if it was a gloved finger, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously, McGill didn't, as far as we, as far as we know, get stabbed or anything. No, so. I think he was the one doing the stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? well, this would this would certainly imply it. That's, that's sure. dangerously close to slander, there, lady. <laughs> Thrice fired, mate, son. Oh. You don't sound very sure of yourself. The way you trailed off there. No, I'm very confident. This is my confident voice. <laughs> <laughs> I use this voice well, in court it was all too the time. <laughs> Well, it was two months ago now, that case. And of course, I'd never met the victim. So I'm struggling to remember his name. He was definitely thrice fired, though. Not whatever the hell I called him. Is it like <laughs> lightly, lightly fried <laughs> banana man? Or <laughs> I, I can't. I can, lightly fried banana man? I can't remember what? what it was. There was like a. Because uh, I couldn't remember the name, and it was just something ridiculous. I mean, it's, I mean I'm, I'm living up to the usual. What you know, people's expectations of me, aren't I? Because I can't remember what I said back then either. So, God, the old memory doing its doing its thing. What the heck? <laughs> okay, the victim of the omnibus case. Yes, his name was indeed Mister Thrice Fired Mason. But that would mean that this blood stain was left on the ticket two months ago. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, I think it was. Gina brought this ticket here to Winterbanks yesterday. I'm suggesting that the bloodstain was already on it at that time. So it's a smear of blood from the time that Mr. Mason was killed two months ago? Something else is coming back to me now. Mr. McGilded was also wearing leather gloves that night. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes, because he said about helping the guy, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Now I ask you, what good hearted soul wouldn't rush to help a fella bleeding from his and stomach? He got the blood on one yeah. of his gloves. Got the blood up. Yep, they were on the thumb. Yeah, there and you go. wouldn't you know it, it's on I the I wasn't right. about to start worrying about any gloves now, was I? I reached out to give the man a hand. Yeah. By thrusting the knife a little deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, fella. A big old hot, hand for hot, you. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> yeah, right there, Pete. <laughs> yes. It certainly does look like a leather gloved thumbprint, this mark. But we know that Mr. McGilded had no injuries at the time anywhere on his body. From which we can conclude that any blood on the glove belonged to the victim, Mr. Mason. Mr. Narohodo, you sound just like Mr. Sholmes. Except for the part where well, I got seventy-five percent of it wrong. Well, uh, well I, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. Minus the the quirky slip-ups. Oh, oh dear, do you mind? <laughs> yes, I think you're right, Bruno. Oh goodness, everybody's ganging up on me. <laughs> Very well, let's make a note of this. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Okay. Da 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 da. I guess do we show that to Gregson? Mr. Gregson. Mr. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess probably. That's yeah. Inspector Gregson to you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Gregson score. Oh, the, oh yeah. See, so look, it's changed now. If you let your concentration slip, you might miss what people say. So maybe that's oh. maybe that's kind of the. You've got something to look at in here, son. Mm. Right. So updated blood samples. 
Oh. No. <laughs> Inspector Gregson, could you give me your opinion about this, do I you guess think? that'd be a no. Oh, I'm just gonna sip some more tea. <laughs> All right, so I guess it's I guess it's the the, the, the postcard. postcard, yeah. Because that's the only other thing that we found out. Mhm. Mm Boom. Ah! Oh! Inspector. <laughs> Pete, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I picked the postcard with the blood. He's like, nope. Fine. The other. Is it the? Is it the other one then? I guess, but like, we haven't found anything else out about this one. Oh. Um, uh, Inspector, what do you make of the- Oh. The well, it's a good show that we picked the other postcard and we didn't just spend 40 minutes diddling around trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah, totally didn't do that. <laughs> no. No, we didn't. But no, I- no, we, no we actually didn't, guys. What are you even doing? <laughs> we didn't feel no, pain. that's not a thing. We didn't feel pain. Emotional or damage. It, the, the, I think the despair is from playing Danganronpa 2, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, <God>. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what have we here, then? A redemption ticket for an article deposited here, is it? Looks like someone ran out of office stationery and wrote the ticket on whatever paper was to hand. It's a good show I didn't use any toilet roll. Oh. <laughs> oh god. There's nothing worse than running out of that sunshine. <laughs> you have to wipe your ass on the grass. <laughs> grab the near grab the nearest receipt. Oh it's paper cut. Oh, oh. Dude. <laughs> Inspector Gregson has been in that situation a couple of times. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and I had to use my chip paper. Oh, oh, that was a pain no, on the hemorrhoids, let me on, tell you. I mean, he's not, he's not gumshoe. Oh, he's no, not gumshoe, gum is he? It he gets, what's his face? He gets, doesn't he get, oh no, he doesn't get royalty it, payments. He gives the royalty payments, doesn't he? So, But he has money to give to Iris, so he's not like Gumshoe, who has literal negative, who has a negative salary. He doesn't give money to Iris. Or oh, is it the other way around? No, he gets royalties from it. Oh. Yeah, no, Sarah, uh, Pete, he gets paid by Iris to be in the stories. That's why he gets some of the royalties for her. That's the whole oh, thing. That was, it's the whole I, thing. It I, was the I, whole I, line of dialogue. I mixed it That's up. why Iris gave us the card with the pencil that was piece the, on it. So I forgot got him. it mixed up. Leave me alone. But he doesn't have hemorrhoids, that's Mr. Grossberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's the voice, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I had to but bring up my chip paper afterwards because I'll be damned if I have to throw it away. Do you know how expensive newsprint is in this era? I just had to make sure I didn't get no brown sauce on my chips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very difficult to tell apart, let me tell you. Uh. <laughs> Pain. I feel so much pain. <laughs> oh, actually, no, it's not. Oh, really? Think you know better than me, do ye? No, I, I didn't mean to. Um. Uh oh. Who knows, right, Gregsy? It isn't the same ticket. Oh, of course it isn't. Of course it isn't. I never doubted you, your ladyship. Good, good. <laughs> so, what's all this about then, if I might be so bold as to ask? This is the second ticket. Oh, well then, it's a different matter then. <laughs> a second one. It seems that Mr. McGilded, in fact, had another article in storage here at Winderbanks. Uh, is that right? I think we need to discuss this further with the inspector, Mr. Narahodo. Fine, fine, <laughs> I'll unlock the third dialogue option <laughs> if it'll get you off my back. <laughs> then let me get on with some goddamn work. And when I say work, I mean finishing my fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, because he's ever so easy to talk to. <laughs> you mean I'm a shining da -da 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 -da. pillar of conversation, me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I know all about the small talk. <laughs> you know, oh, this is, uh, <clears throat> how are the uh, sports? Aye, 
the, the sports and the uh, the weather and uh, some <laughs> such. Uh, uh, did you see that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> Oh, God, it's like Pete and I trying to have a conversation <laughs> where we struggle to come up with anything to speak about. They're lying. They can have a conversation because I've heard them have a conversation. <laughs> they will have you fooled, but... She doesn't have any evidence, though. She does not. So, she does not have any so evidence. It's a hit. Pete and I have the typical man relationship <laughs> where it's just like, you know, every, you know, every week, it's like, Pete, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah it's fine. How are you doing, Taylor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same time next week. Great. Same time next week. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sarah, you know, will leave the room, and then it's just Pete and I, and just like. <sighs> <laughs> until she gets back. <clears throat> this ticket was in one of the pockets of Mr. McGilder's overcoat. I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> just, I just don't even know. Exactly. exactly. That's, that's just the point that I was making. <laughs> just, I just don't. I just don't even. <laughs> it's, it's like, what? What is happening? Yeah. You mean to tell me? Yes, there was more than just the music box disc. It seems. <laughs> I should have insisted on the lads taking it back to the yard and examine it, examining it properly. Examine. <laughs> examine. Examining it properly. <laughs> well, according to the details on this ticket, Mr. McGilded deposited another article here with Mr. Windybank. Yes, I can see it written here. A small box, was it? Don't you have any idea where it is, Gregsy? Any idea at all? Do you have any bloody idea how many feckin' boxes are in this shop? Don't you use that kind of language on me, Gregsy. Naughty. <laughs> I'm only ten. I stuck to the ceiling! <laughs> oh, Gregsy, you're such a... There's more <laughs> box here than a... Don't let your kids watch for it! crying out loud! Gregsy, don't be so vulgar. <laughs> Well, in such a bad mood today, I'm going to have to make another <laughs> special blend of tea to calm your temper. It'll be Gregson tea what? if you keep going. Gregson tea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't make me use my tea leaf gun. <laughs> it's another it just article. turns people into tea. Yep. <laughs> it's another article belonging to Mr. McGilded. It could be an important clue. Well, uh, yes, uh, I suppose it could be. What the heck? Um, I suppose it could be. Mm. Please stop looking at me with those big turquoise eyes all full of hope and expectation. <laughs> it's so oh. much pressure. I'll lose me marbles, I will. I'll go barking. <laughs> Gregsy, do you mind your... Cramming your chips all over my face. I'm just, he's, he's, he's gonna have like the greasiest chin. Oh. <laughs> he looks like a bloody, like, well, ravenous that's why he's pigeon. got that weak chin, yes. so the grease all oh. slides off down oh. his. He does look like a pigeon. Yeah, it looks like a ravenous pigeon going for yeah. some corn or something. Yep, yep. <laughs> and the crunching <laughs> intensifies. <laughs> This is no time for dog impressions, Inspector. Uh, that's enough sauce from you, uh, sunshine. Oh my <laughs> crispy chips. You frightened Iris. Uh. <clears throat> there is uh, one thing that springs to mind. Oh, God. <laughs> the court record. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind interrupting me again, little British man? I just like to imagine <laughs> me and Oskar just stood there. He's like, oh, yes, yes. Do go on. He's just like... I'm just perusing the court record here. <laughs> <laughs> Iris doesn't look very impressed. <clears throat> Iris was not amused. No, she does not. No. <laughs> Iris will remember this. Unamused, Iris. According to this ticket, the redemption deadline's already passed, hasn't it? Oh, yes, of course. Articles are only held for two months. So the small box will no longer be here, then. That's right. It's been forfeited. Forfeited. Which means it could be on the shelves in the front of the shop, where the forfeited items are offered for sale. Yes, the shelves in the front. We must search them at once. Okay. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Uh, oh? There are dozens of little boxes out there. 
Hundreds even. And it's impossible to think that there might be that one that just suddenly appears out of nowhere <laughs> for you to randomly pick up when you go back in the room. <laughs> Are you inclined that a mysterious box would appear at the foreground, clearly <laughs> overlaid on the background of this game? I don't know what you're talking about there, son. Pray forgive- oh, I can't possibly know. <laughs> Pray forgive the discourtesy, for I have already found the box and submitted it into evidence. Oh, no. My Nipponese friend. Uh, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't being rude. <laughs> I just said the what you said the thing. You said the nipponese. You know oh. I'm being dirty. Oh. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> These we got on the wrong uh, wrong topic <laughs> there. <laughs> a little bit of a misunderstanding. <laughs> Gregson Gregson is eyeing us judgmentally right now. I want you to know I want that. you to that's, know that he's that's a gaze full of judgment. He's eyeing Sarah judgmentally. Hey, it's not just me. You're the one who misunderstood. Mm. And Suzato also looks very disappointed. Hey, she does. stop. Why is everyone disappointed in me? I don't like it. I'm not so <laughs> No, in us. In us. We've gotten... We've the, the train's gone off the rails. Yeah. We can't possibly know which one might have been McGilded's. That information is not written in the ledger. Ugh. Uh. Well, I think we should at least have a look. Just in case. Of course, your ladyship, of course. Very sensible of you, I'm sure. This is getting old. 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 Very, old. very old, old. and Black weary. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dong. Dong. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I nearly jumped out of my skin there. How could Mr. Windybag set up such a wicked trap? It's just an hourly chime. Can I even at Christmas us more dogs in a It's time to stop! Jesus it's Christ. time to stop, okay? For crying out loud! No more! <laughs> There's gonna be so much horny bat. This There's gonna episode. be so much explicit content going in here. Yeah, it's just like, oh goodness. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. I, I doubt he set up to scare anyone. Unlike Taylor just now, with that mental image. <laughs> It's like complete scar. Like, just, just don't, just don't, just don't let your kids watch. You. Just don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, for goodness' sake! You could say that it's time to stop. Oh, God, all of the memes, Jesus, no, guys! I refuse. <laughs> Is that really the time? I don't know, Miss Suzato, seeing as how those clocks don't seem to have any hands or dashes or any indication dashes. as to what time. <laughs> Hash marks? What, what do you call them? Well, sorry? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. I think this train this is tra in the yeah. valley right now. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> smoking in a pile. I think this train's in the wrong on the wrong planet. It's on the wrong side of the tracks, <laughs> heading for it on the face on collision. <laughs> the wrong planet. <laughs> I think perhaps we should pay Gina another visit soon. Oh? Do we have to? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Arahodo, don't be so mean. <laughs> A trial is tomorrow. We must... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we must <laughs> skip forward to Sarah's dialogue oh my God. again. <laughs> it was an accident. Does Dissolution please have a union? I'd like to join. <laughs> oh my For God. For the mistreatment of the. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to start the union. Yes. She'll be the only employee <laughs> of the three of us. I'm a one woman union. <laughs> Just like, oh my goodness. Technically, we only need a majority to unionize. So, you know, yeah. if Sarah and I both sign on to the union, we'll have to. <laughs> Disillusion plays incorporated. We'll have to acknowledge it. <laughs> Corporate. A trial is tomorrow. We must establish whether or not you will be defending her. I think we should ask her one more time. She may have changed her mind. Uh... Don't you remember, Bruno? You told her she could rip up the, re 
the representation papers if she didn't want you to be her lawyer. Oh, right. That was a bit foolish of me, wasn't it? Really? Did I say that? Yes, That really sounds like did. a dumb... Oh, dear. <laughs> the text. Oh. 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 <laughs> the deadline for submitting the paperwork is fast approaching. In that case, we had better hurry back to the prison and talk to Gina again. Again? Again. Again? again. I, I don't think either way it works. It's fine. Reason. Gina. What? <laughs> oh, it's, it's like, oh. Oh, Gina. Now, what do you want? <laughs> oh, don't be like that. Ah. Gina, good, you're back. Aye? Hmm. The police stop. must have finished questioning her then. Oh, how was it, Ginny? Was it awful? Aye? Oh. Didn't bother me. Yes. Uh, thank you for the papers you signed before. It meant that we were able to investigate at Winterbanks. Oh, right. Hmm. Don't you want to know how we got on? We've been ever so busy. What's the point in asking? Won't change what everyone's saying. That I did it. That's not... Gina, we came to ask for your final decision. Eh? What decision? Wumpy face. About tomorrow's trial. Will you let me defend you or not? <laughs> I must submit the paperwork now if you'd like Mr. Narahodo to represent you. Right. I see. She's really lost her fight all of a sudden. But I know what that feels like. The worry is just so hard to bear. Did someone say bear? No, Monokuma, get out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to her. What we have uncovered. Silence. <laughs> More silence. <laughs> oh, all right then. Blimey. Give it a rest with them eyes, Iris. So come on then. Fill us in. Who done it? <clears throat> Unfortunately, we don't know quite that yet. You don't say. We don't know yet, Gina. But Mr. Narahodo and all of us know that you are innocent of this crime. Hmm. Yes, and undoubtedly we'll uncover who actually did it in the middle of your court trial, mm. <laughs> as we have in every other time. <laughs> And in perpetuity. <clears throat> I mean, and while we haven't yet managed to work out who the real culprit is, there are a number of interesting facts that we have managed to establish. Oh, yeah? Like what? Uh, well, for example, the reason for you being there in the first place. I think I know now why you broke into Winterbanks that night. Dot, 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 dot. It looks like I'm going to have to take some evidence that clearly reveals the reason and thrust it into Gina's face. The evidence, Taylor. <clears throat> the evidence. Break her nose. <laughs> That's a pretty thick manuscript. Or I could prison. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> uh, don't. Don't or I could set him it. off. <laughs> I wasn't setting him off. I was stating the facts. It's a <laughs> thick manuscript. <laughs> No, I... Oh, I could present it to her <laughs> calmly, I suppose. Did you put your name in the gobble to fire? He said calmly. Uh, Dumbledore said calmly. Uh, right, hang on. So what we... we need to, oh, we need to present her with the doggo of the basket. Thrust. Right? <laughs> thrust the doggo of the basket. We need more thrust. <laughs> <laughs> we found this in Mr. Winderbank's storeroom. The manuscript of Iris' latest story. Uh, oh, right. Well, that's good then. Curiously, the storeroom at Winterbank showed no sign of being ransacked for items of value or the like. With one exception. 
the box file that housed this manuscript. Hmm. It was you, wasn't it, Gina? Who broke open the box containing this manuscript last night. Eh? You were determined to find out whether or not the Hound of the Baskervilles was really there. That's the real reason you broke into the storeroom last night, isn't it? Ah! Yikes. Why don't you tell us what happened? Please. <sighs> dun 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 dun. All right, yeah. This Baskerville story is the latest Sholmes adventure, right? But it ain't been printed yet. So I figured it's got to be worth a few pieces of silver, right? Oh, yes. At least £5,000. What? You what? <laughs> what? So, you intended to sell Iris's manuscript, did you? Ginny, how could you? What? Wait! No, hang on! Of course I weren't going to sell it! All I wanted to do was find out if the mantle script, or whatever you call it, really was there or not. That's the only reason I was in the place. Ha! Gosh. <laughs> For Iris' sake, isn't that right? Uh, uh... We knew why you'd done it from the start, Gina. Of course we did. But... I knew you wouldn't do anything mean like that, Ginny. I just knew it. Well, uh, um... When I saw the manuscript in the storeroom, it reminded me of what you'd said the night before. Grown-ups do a lot worse than that, believe me. Bare-faced liars, a lot of them. You just yeah, think... Yeah, grown-ups suck! <laughs> Taylor, we are grown-ups. No! <laughs> you just ain't realised it yet. No, he hasn't. <laughs> Poor Iris. I'm telling you, that mental script ain't at Windybanks. You'd soon see if you had a look. Uh, if I'm honest, I have wondered if Hurley's telling me the truth sometimes. Eh? Hey? <laughs> what do you mean, dear child? <laughs> I always tell the truth. It just may not always be... Except for the times when <laughs> I It do. just may not be completely accurate at all times, that's all. <laughs> I mean that I sometimes wonder if he might have hidden my manuscript somewhere. Somewhere I don't know. Even though it's wrong of me to doubt him. <sighs> oh no, don't worry, I do it all the time. <laughs> oh, Ginny. That was so sweet of you. All right, all right. Blimey. <laughs> I'll tell you why I did it. Just stop looking at me like that. I'll tell you why I did it. Just stop looking at me like that, Iris. Iris. <laughs> I, those <laughs> eyes will bore a hole into your soul and make all of the sense and common logic flow out of you like you've been stuck with a harpoon. <laughs> It weren't because of Iris. That's why. I, that's not why I did it. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know the truth, that's all. I wanted to know if Mr. Sholmes was being honest. If he'd really deposited the manuscript at Windybanks. Mm. It's like I told you the night before. I never had a father. But Iris's lot ain't like mine. She's got her dad, only she can't see him. <laughs> about that. <laughs> about that. Uh, let's just not talk let's just, about that uh, anymore. Let's just breeze over that, shall we? <laughs> and I reckon that's got to be harder. Yes, yeah, Sato yes, knows. Yes, very difficult indeed. Yep. Uh -huh. Sato knows. No, uh. Mr. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> That's why she writes her stories. They're about her dad, really. Oh, isn't that so charming? <laughs> oh, dear. That's what it sounded like to me, anyway. Last night when I was reading... Reading? Really? Uh, listening to what you were saying. Stories? About... Daddy? Uh... 
You mean they're not the adventures of a great detective? So much as the adventures of a great detective and his trusty partner. Well, that's how I see it, yeah. You're so thoughtful and kind, Ginny. Whoa, don't don't compliment her too much. She'll feel she'll throw up. <laughs> Bit like you, darling. When we, <laughs> when we get mushy on you. That's mean, pal. <laughs> yes, and we never thought any differently, did we? No, Look. no. Why would we? Look, give it a rest, will ya? See, I told you. I ate all this chummy nonsense. Do you hear? I ate it. I don't trust no one, right? That's how I work. Because if you don't trust no one, no one can let you down. So leave me alone. Go on, Scarpa. What's on her jacket? No. Oh, the... There's some like, funky stains. The gravy. Uh, gravy. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Um, Gina. What? Uh... <laughs> 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 I had noticed until now, but it's unmistakable. Right there on both sleeves of that overcoat. Hmm. Are some very suspicious red? That's a bit brown to me. Stains? Although blood does go brown when blood it's dry. Blood does go it? brown. But it is weird that Rinosuke is like, oh yes, it's red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those stains are red there. Well, there is a bit of red mm. on the edge, on the left sleeve. There is like yeah, a red little color. speckles, specks of red. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I think it might be worth presenting some of our other findings in that area to Gina so now. That's oh, do where we have the to blood blast her with the gun? Is it goes. blood that? Oopsie. It's time to get my gun. <laughs> yeah. So the blood samples portfolio, because yeah, that's where that's where it comes in. Those stains on the sleeves of your new coat, Gina. They're blood. Aren't they? Not that I know who's blood yet. What? B blood, Mr. Naroldo? You don't appear to have any obvious wounds yourself, though. So it could be blood that spattered from Mr. Winterbank when he was shot last night? Let's not beat around the bush here. <laughs> this trusty friend of mine will get results much faster than anything else. Oh, excuse me, madam. <laughs> Is that a firearm in the, on the, in the prison? Firearms are prohibited. Yep. Hey, <laughs> uh, 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 take it easy, Iris. Oh, no. Uh, excuse me. Are you aiming the firearm at that prisoner? Could you please <laughs> refrain from shooting the prisoners, ma'am? Oh, I understand that Inspector Gregson's a bit fond of you, but we can't have you blasting Swiss cheese holes in the prisoners. <laughs> Don't move, Ginny. I'm going to shoot. And then the screen fades to black. Uh, so I started blasting. <laughs> <Poof>. Oh, <laughs> I put... The, this was my cat flapper mat. Cat oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Just a oh. giant square hole through... Oh, okay. it's purple like Mr. Mason's. Purple. Like, oh. uh, like the Irishman's jacket. Yeah, so I was thinking it's very aptly purple, isn't it, considering he was wearing purple? Yes. Oh. Oh, my. What the? Forget the sleeves. The whole... The whole... Oh. <laughs> the whole coat is covered in blood. Of course. The black colour of the... F the black colour? It's a bit grey to me. Are you, know, okay. Are you colourblind? <laughs> You got like some, you missing some cones in your eyes? I suspect it'll just be like, like the stylized art though, well, right? Well, they'll have to have done it like a grey colour because otherwise you won't see like the defined like lines because they're in black. So you yeah. kind of have to make it you won't be able to a see. shade yeah. off black so you can see them. So yeah. It's, got, it's oh, called like artistic stuff. Interpretation. Yes. <laughs> it's style. The black color of the fabric was masking the stains. That's why we haven't seen them until now. And the blood has reacted with the chemical to turn a purple color, which matches one of those samples we've already collected perfectly. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you just say that the prisoner has a jacket covered in blood that matches the blood from a previous crime scene? Oh, she's guilty then. Excuse me. <laughs> Who did have that? I spied Mason. Of Mason. course. It's on the postcard. Yes, yes, it's all right. I'm being a dumb dumb. Because, yeah, there's green. Mr. Windybanks is blue. We green, don't know who's that is. We don't know is. about the green one. Pete, 
Pete, if you lose focus, you might lose track of what people are saying. <laughs> yes, now let's see. Who had purple blood? Aha! Yes, it was the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, the victim of the murdered case two months ago. Ah, uh, I knew it. What? What are you all on about? The victim? What do you mean? Oh, it's a rather serious uncomfortable face. situation, Mr. Narahodo, but I think this makes things quite clear. It means the omnibus case is finally solved. The truth about who really murdered the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, is revealed. Oi! Will someone explain what's going on? Stop telling half a story! Oh, Sato. oh. There's Sato. We can see now that the victim's blood is all over Mr. McGilded's overcoat. Oh, little book. But in the trial two months ago... Uh, let's see. The defendant said this in his testimony. Now I ask is, what good-hearted soul wouldn't rush to help a fellow bleeding from his stomach? If you feel like you may have heard this before, it was because it was about uh, 30 minutes ago now. <laughs> I wasn't about to start worrying about me gloves now, was I? I reached out to give the man a hand. I'm not going to do the clapping bit again, yeah. but I get a bit tiresome. Oh, it's a different flashback then. But if you look at this overcoat now, it's clear. No, it's, it's not clear. It's black These... and purple. Mm. If it was a clear coat, you wouldn't be able to see it. Mm. Well, get out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> these stains couldn't have arisen from McGilded trying to pull the victim to his feet. No, if that was what had really happened, the blood wouldn't have splashed all over the front of the coat. But the only explanation for this pattern of blood is that it splattered over Mr. McGilded's coat when he stabbed the victim in the stomach! Da da da! I've tried to run from the truth for long enough. But there's no escaping it now. The true culprit in that case, Mr. Mason's killer, Magnus McGilded. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure. Do you see now why I imprisoned him within the omnibus? <laughs> I mean, and set someone imprisoned him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, crap. <laughs> yes, someone <laughs> happened to strike a match after the outside had been doused in kerosene. <laughs> a most unfortunate. Incident. <laughs> a most flammable end. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Narahodo. You might say. <laughs> Mr. Yes? Van Zeeks. <laughs> Could you please leave? We're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Narahodo. Bat! <laughs> 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 I'm so excited they're making a season three of that. I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> Cannot wait. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Narahodo. That horrible case is solved at last. And I... I helped the man walk free from that trial. I used all that twisted testimony and all that sham evidence to, to, to prove his innocence. <sighs> How could I have let that happen? Hmm. You know? Did you believe him, though? <laughs> <laughs> Did you believe Mr. McGilded was innocent? <sighs> I believed. Oh, brother, I think I was trying to believe. I wanted to. Because believing in those you represent in court is defense lawyer's greatest it's weapon. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy's life. Oh, Casimir. My poor boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
a weapon? Flashback? Oh. Oh, oh no, I thought there would be one. Perhaps there, there might be one there will in this be, one. Yeah, I suspect there will be. Before we came to Great Britain, a great friend of mine taught me a valuable lesson. And then died. <laughs> Very suddenly. Don't remind me. <laughs> it's tragic. <laughs> you mean Kazuma Summer? No, my other <laughs> friend who tragically had his neck broken oh. on the ship ride over Miss Suzato. <laughs> Listen, Rionosuke. We lawyers are only human. We can't know for sure what is truth and what is a lie. Which is why we must resort to our primary weapon. Our katana. <laughs> An unwavering belief in our clients. That's all we really have. Unwavering belief? Only when we truly believe what our clients tell us can we fight with everything we have for their cause. In any battle, there can be no victory without faith. Kazuma, your voice. You sound like you're going to update an autopsy report sometime soon. How dare you. <laughs> Do not besmirch the name of Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> I've besmirched him enough with this voice of mine. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Hearsay and cause for speculation. <laughs> Nonsensical. Nonsensical. So I be Lack of foundation! Go, there we go. I can't remember anymore. <laughs> uh, stop picking on me. It's so unfair. <laughs> I can't deal with all of these compliments. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zato, pass me the bucket. <laughs> 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 So I believe you, unwaveringly. Oh, that's good. <laughs> because otherwise, I think I would be up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny, Gina? Oh, sounds like this empire of Japan you come from. <laughs> Everyone must be soft. <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> well, come on. Look at the mess it's got you into, believing in that bog trotter. Yes, I inadvertently helped a murderer walk free. Well, at least you've learnt your lesson now, eh? <laughs> no, no, I have not. <laughs> well, you're a bit stupid, aren't you? <laughs> Believe in people's never worth it. Someone always stabs you in the back in the end. As soon as you let your guard right. down your guard, that's it, you've had it. Trust in other people is just pointless. I mean, everyone no, will let you Navito. down again. <laughs> No! Friendship is really just a hollow construct that make us briefly forget about the pointlessness <sighs> of our lives. We forget about our despair for a couple of minutes, but it's always at the edges, creeping Shut back up, in. Nagato. Slowly. <laughs> Hi, Pete! <laughs> oh, hey, Pete. How's it going? <laughs> Take a leaf out of my book. Believe no one, get hurt by no one. Gina, may I ask you something? What? What? <laughs> what? I... And the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to make absolutely sure. What would you like us to do with these representation papers for tomorrow's trial? How many times do I have to say it? Rip them up and chuck them away. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Did you say turn them in so I can represent <laughs> you in court so you don't dangle by your neck from the ceiling? <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> Are you really sure that's what you want? I bet that's what he wants and all now. I'm um, Mr. Armour Believer Lawyer over there. You're not denying that... Or you're, you're not actually saying that you don't want him to represent you, though. She's just feeling self-loathing. She feels guilty mm. about it. She just, she's projecting her own feelings of inadequacy onto the people around her because she doesn't believe anyone would find her innocent or find her worthy of protecting. 
or standing up for. This sounds like it's somebody else we know. No. no. <laughs> Don't forget it was me in that trial two months ago. I led everyone up the garden path, didn't I? But did she lead everyone up the garden path? What? What? <laughs> what are you saying? Like, maybe no. Maybe she didn't. No, I think as in maybe we're out of time. No. No, we can't be. <laughs> oh, oh, we are actually. Sorry. I was going to say, like, are, we, are you doing a bit or not? No, <laughs> we're like, not. No, we're being serious. <laughs> like, are we out of time? No, yes. Unfortunately, we are out of time. What? Thank you once again for joining us on our silly adventures. Or great adventures, as it were. Great Ace Attorney adventures. Indeed. <laughs> if you do like what we do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And ring that notification bell so you'll get notifications of our uploads every Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah. And so with that, we'll see you in the next one. See you later. And remember, if you've got pictures with bloody fingerprints on them, Examine them first before talking to the inspector, <laughs> or you might otherwise go up a garden path. Three times. <laughs>